Okay, so I'm back with uh, my glue and stuff. I mean, I use E6000 glue for this part. Nothing too crazy. So I'll just run around the edge. Edge, 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 edge. Just like so. I mean, you don't have to go crazy with the glue, but I want to make sure this thing sticks. You don't want to do it, get too close to the edge. Just leave yourself some spacing for it as well. I mean, if you need to put it down, just flip the other, other section over. And center and glue. Just like that. Here's a scrap piece that I have. And that piece will just go over here. And the next piece I can just pick up or that and start applying glue onto it. And this doesn't take much glue to set up. I'm just doing this part so there's not much flex on it. And just set it off the side here. Turn and place. And put a little pressure onto it. Make sure your piece is kind of somewhat lined up as well. And normally I just take a little piece of buckskin for this little actual excess that's pouring out. Yeah, there's a lot of wiping coming off it, but I just take buckskin, whatever is laying around, kind of twist, twist, and lift off from the top. Like a, there's a lot of glue on it. Okay, that was a bit loud outside, but this is how it is, and this is how I do my lining. So the next section I'll do is actually do the lining portion of it, and actually the assembly of it, doing the putting the lining together in here, as well attaching the lining to the piece, and finishing up these edges, and have it sewed in together to make one unified piece. So I'll do that portion next, in my next video, so stay tuned for that. And that's how I do my lining.